Hello everyone, this is Chad from the Soundflow team and today we're going to be going through some exciting new developments with Soundflow and Pro Tools. So starting with Pro Tools 2025.10 and Soundflow 6, Soundflow will be co-installed with Pro Tools and available to all users directly from the edit window. So together with Avid, we are introducing a new Soundflow panel in Pro Tools that provides access to over 1700 commands designed for Pro Tools and ready to use. And not only that, Soundflow is launching a new framework called SFX, which has been fully integrated into the Pro Tools code, meaning that communication between Soundflow and Pro Tools is faster and more reliable than ever before. This innovation brings with it new workflows, AI tools, and even powers an interactive tutorial system in the new Learn panel for Pro Tools. With SFX, we are also thrilled to announce that the Soundflow panel will also be available on the Windows operating system, bringing the power of Soundflow to Windows for the first time. Now, if you don't know what Soundflow is, that's okay. Soundflow is a workflow automation platform designed by audio professionals for the audio industry. And over the past eight years or so, we've been developing new workflows for Pro Tools and other audio software, enabling creators to work faster and more efficiently. Soundflow can run macros to execute multiple actions at once or provide hardware control with devices like Stream Decks or iOS and Android tablets. Soundflow assists with tasks such as creating, coloring, and routing tracks, bouncing stems, enhancing editing and automation workflows. The possibilities are endless though. We have a thriving community sharing new workflows on our forum every day. And if you have an idea for a workflow, Soundflow can probably make it happen. So to get started, all you need to do is log into Pro Tools with your Avid account. And if you're new to Soundflow, logging into your Avid account will give you access to all of the free Soundflow content within Pro Tools. And you can easily transition to the complete Soundflow experience when you're ready. Of course, if you already use Soundflow, the Soundflow features in Pro Tools will automatically link up with your existing Soundflow account and all of your custom macros, scripts, and other content will be available for you within Pro Tools. All right, let's check out the Soundflow panel in Pro Tools 2025.10. So this panel lives on the right side of the screen next to the clips list, and it features a few ways to work with Soundflow. First off, we have the deck shown here, which comes from Soundflow's official Pro Tools package, and it has a ton of functionality built into it out of the box. So I can go ahead and select some tracks here. I can color them with these track colors, and I'll do the background, this purple and these acoustics, this green. Of course, I can also get to other functionality like audio suite plugins. I can do reverse or EQ3, for example. But I often like to search for uh, an audio plugin by name. So I'll just go ahead and search for vintage verb. And then I can quickly, you know, render this onto a piece of this vocal to create a little reverb throw, which is pretty fun. And then uh, this is also a really powerful deck for automating automation workflows. So I can quickly go into different automation modes. Like I can turn everything to touch mode automation. I could select the verse here and then we could go to preview and we'll turn that on and then go ahead and make a quick adjustment here for the verse, maybe just a little bit brighter, and then we can go ahead and write that automation all from the Soundflow deck on the Soundflow panel. So that's really cool. So there's a bunch of functionality baked into this deck, and we've done our best to lay it out as logically as possible. But if you want more targeted control, you can always use the search field here to search for commands by name. So let's say that I want to actually you know, take these two vocal tracks, and I want to have them temporarily linked together. I can search for temp group, and you'll see I have some options here. I'm gonna use this create or delete temp group function to uh, quickly just create a group that will allow me to make some edits that are linked together for this track. And I can go ahead and go through, make my edits. Looks like that's all of the audio for that. And then when I'm done, I can run that same command again just by clicking on it from the list, and that those tracks are no longer linked, so I can go ahead and treat them separately as I would normally. Of course, if you are a Soundflow Pro subscriber, you know that the real power with Soundflow comes from using custom macros and scripts, which can be created by stringing together multiple commands into one action. So your custom commands and scripts will also be available via the search field here in the Soundflow panel. 
So for instance, one of my most used commands is a command from a package that I share on the Soundflow store for all Soundflow Pro users. And it allows me to load pieces of my mix template um, onto individual tracks via track presets. So I can select these tracks here and I'll search for load track preset search. And you can see this is from CW Pro Tools Utility here. I'll go ahead and search for all of my track presets. I can search for LV sends, which is my lead vocal sends. And this will quickly add all of the sends to these tracks so that I'm ready to work with, you know, parallel compression, verb, echo, right away, and these are all routed where I need them to go. If you wanna add custom triggers to any of the commands included for Soundflow, you can open up the Soundflow application. So to do this, I'm gonna go up to the top right-hand corner of the Soundflow panel, and we'll click Open Soundflow. This will open up the standalone Soundflow application, and I can go to the editor to quickly see all of the content that is available for free as a Pro Tools user. And as a Pro Tools user, I'm able to add new triggers. So for instance, I'm gonna to go to this track input, output, and pan section. I really like this select track output search command. I'm just gonna click new trigger here. And you can see I can add a keyboard trigger or a MIDI trigger or an OSC trigger to any of the commands included with Pro Tools and Soundflow. So I can go ahead and add a keyboard trigger here to make this option command O by recording it there. I can set this to only be active when I'm in Pro Tools. Then if I go back to Pro Tools, I can select all these lead vocal tracks, run that command with option command O, and quickly search for my all LV mix. And just like that, everything's been routed to the correct bus and I'm ready to go. For now, the Soundflow editor is currently only available on Mac OS, but we hope to bring the full Soundflow experience to Windows in the future. The Soundflow commands in the Soundflow panel and the interactive tutorials from the Learn panel will run on Windows though. Now you'll notice that there is more content below the search field here. These are examples of what we call flows. These flows are interactive tools powered by Soundflow and the SFX framework, which can work alongside you as you work in Pro Tools. For instance, select the best mic is a flow that can be used in dialogue sessions to intelligently select the best tracks for each moment of audio on the timeline. This dramatically speeds up sorting out lav microphones and multiple microphones on a podcast edit. Another great example of a flow is Upload to Cloud, which can be used to send a mix to a cloud service like Samply, and then provide a link for your client without ever leaving Pro Tools. The Soundflow panel can also host flows from other Soundflow apps like Shep's Bounce Factory, created by our friend Andrew Shep's, in this context, Bounce Factory will run as a simple to use flow for quickly bouncing stems or other mix passes without launching any other apps or windows. By the way, make sure to check out Bounce Factory 2, which is launching alongside Soundflow 6. Andrew has raised the bar for bouncing workflows with this redesigned Bounce Factory experience. It's now faster and easier to use than ever before. To get the most out of the flows in the Soundflow panel, you will need a subscription license to either Soundflow Pro or Bounce Factory, but you can start a trial for either of these right from the Soundflow panel and check out what they can do for you right away. Now, I mentioned AI tools at the beginning of this video, and we are very excited to launch a brand new Soundflow tool called Session Assistant. Session Assistant is a first of its kind GPT style chat interface to quickly take actions on your Pro Tools session. So I can go ahead and start a new chat with Session Assistant just by clicking on the flow here in the Soundflow panel. And then I can go ahead and type a prompt like create three new aux tracks called reverb, delay, and spread. And just hit enter to send that. And it's gonna go through and add those tracks to the bottom of this session for me. Of course, I can also use this microphone button to talk to Session Assistant via the system input on my Mac. So I can say, create four new mono audio tracks called vocal one, two, three, and four. And we can go ahead and send that. And it's gonna go through and make those tracks. And then I can also refer back to actions it's already taken for me. So for instance, I can say things like this, all the tracks you created to the all 
LV folder. And it's gonna go through and select all those tracks and move them to the correct folder for me. As another example, if I'm prepping this session, I can give Session Assistant more complex tasks. Like I can say, move all the tracks starting with LV to the all LV folder and BV to the all BV folder and AGT to the all AGT folder. And we'll just send that. And it's gonna go through and get all the names of the session and move those tracks to the correct spot for me. And there we go. So I could go through and continue prepping my session with that and just move through super quickly. Session Assistant is available via a new tier of Soundflow products called Soundflow AI, giving you access to all of the AI features currently available for Pro Tools. We'll be adding to Session Assistant's abilities over time, so stay tuned for updates on this tool. In addition to the Soundflow panel, Soundflow is also powering the new Learn panel in Pro Tools. The Learn panel features new interactive tutorials for Pro Tools. These tutorials can highlight key elements on the screen and set up the user interface for you, putting you in the ideal scenario to learn how to use Pro Tools. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and start this working with MIDI tutorial, and it's gonna prompt me to open up a session that's tailor-made to learn how to use MIDI in Pro Tools. And now the tutorial is waiting for me to take an action, so it's waiting for me to click New from the track menu. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once I've done that, it's highlighting the new tracks dialog. If I roll over some of this highlighted text here, it's calling out the specific drop-down menu and create button that I need to pay attention to in this part of the tutorial. And it's asking me to create an instrument track. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now it's talking about MIDI keyboards, and because I don't have a MIDI keyboard connected to this computer, it's just gonna open up the floating MIDI keyboard window for me and show me how that works. Now I'll click Next, and it's gonna walk through the you know, steps to record enable a track first, and then record enable at the transport, and then hit Play. Now I'm recording some MIDI notes into this project. And just like that, I've recorded MIDI and Pro Tools for the first time, and it's guided me through every step of the process. So we'll continue on with this tutorial. It's gonna call out the MIDI editor, so it's asking us to open up that. And then it's gonna call out some other attributes of the docked MIDI editor, including the MIDI operations tab, the piano roll, the quantize and input quantize functions, and then MIDI merge up in the transport, automation lanes, and finally, it's gonna end by telling us about MIDI effects and the track it's got selected on the edit window here. So I'll go ahead and click next, and I've just completed that tutorial. All in all, this is a revolution in learning DAWs, and we are so excited to bring this experience to Pro Tools. These top four flows are all interactive tutorials like we just saw. However, this panel will also house links to articles and videos from Avid, and continue to grow with more guided content as time goes on. Also note that you can reach these interactive tutorials from the Learn tab of the Dashboard window when you first launch Pro Tools. The SFX technology powering this tutorial content can be applied to other plugins and applications in the future, so if you're a plugin developer interested in adding Soundflow power tutorials or Soundflow hooks for automation to your plugin, please reach out to our team. We'd love to talk to you. Finally, if you're interested in more creative workflows, I encourage you to check out Soundflow Pro and start a free 30-day trial. Soundflow Pro gives you access to custom macros, additional free commands from the Soundflow store, and of course, integrations with hardware devices like stream decks, phones, tablets, and Yukon controllers. Thank you so much for checking out the new Soundflow features in Pro Tools. We are so excited about Soundflow 6, this integration with Pro Tools, the SFX framework, Session Assistant, Bounce Factory 2, and all of the other features we've packed into this release. Check out our other videos and the Learning Soundflow playlist on YouTube, and come say hi to our team in the Soundflow forum. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.